guys, I'm Holly from Vitamil and today we're reviewing the Kaelin M by Vandivate. It's the mesh addition to the other RTAs with Kaelin in the Kaelin range. So let's get on with some specifics about the tank physically. It's a 34mm high by 24mm wide with a 510 pin and an 810 drip tape. It comes in stainless steel, blue, gunmetal, gold, frosted grey, rainbow and matte black. This is matte black. The, uh, somebody said that it's hard to see the airflow adjustment. I don't know if you can see right now that the inside is silver. So especially on this I can see the, because there the arrows look black because it's open. There the arrows look silver because it's closed. I think it's quite easy to see the airflow. But each of their own they say it's hard so you should have got a spec savers. It comes with four coils and two cotton stick wick thing laces, two cotton laces. And I found that a bit strange. Usually you'd have more laces than you would cotton. Uh, than you would coils but there you go. But yeah it comes with four, two different types. 0.2 and 0.15. The 0.2 goes from 40 to 60 watts and the 0.15 goes from 50 to 70 watts. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes because I completely forgot. <laughs> so my thoughts and opinions. First of all, I like the packaging, like I said on the unboxing, but I like how the, the RTA looks. It's not too tall, it's not too bulky. I think it looks a little bit militant, but not too militant. I like it. It's, it's hardcore and heavy duty. It's really easy to build on. I mean, it is dead easy to build on. If I can get it off. It's dead easy to build on and it tastes dead smooth. Got good flavour. There's the bed. I'm not a massive fan of mesh. The other one I tried was the Profile Unity by Watofo. Now the Profile Unity you had to cut the cotton diagonally up and it has to be quite specific. With this you would just wick it like you would any other RTA. So you cut the coils to whatever length you want and push it down. And look, it doesn't look messy. It looks quite nice. Another thing I noticed of from this over the Watofo is one, the bed does lock. So you can't put it in wrong way of it. Wicking holes have to be in line. But, not only that, on the Watofo you can't take the cap off while it's on your mod. With a Kaelin N you can, which I'm a massive fan of because I don't have cap off quite often really, more than I should probably. Now from what I've seen, Vandivip are quite proud of the airflow. They call it honeycomb because of the shape of the airflow. And they say it's a trapezoid airflow channel, which I'm not, it's technical crap. But basically the airflow comes in here and it's turned straight down to the coil so it's directly pointing at the coil. So it, at first I didn't quite understand how it worked, but it does work quite well. Like I say, it's got decent flavour, it's really smooth. I haven't really had any complaints with it. If I did have one complaint about it, it would be the same as I have with any mesh of, it's not very versatile, you can't do what you want with it, you can't build it to how you want, because it's a mesh, you buy the mesh that you want and you put it in, same as you would a normal tank, you buy the coil you put it in. Now something I heard off another reviewer is, it's quite deep, and if you look it is very deep. I still haven't figured out why I got the cap that goes inside it, that doesn't make much sense to me, but I don't understand why that, that being deep is a problem because it's still got the uh, anti-leak o-rings so in my eyes you should be able to fill it above the holes and that's probably why they've done it to get around TPD but presuming your nozzle doesn't fit into the filling holes they're quite big so I imagine if you tilt it and fill directly in to, towards one of the holes it will still fill the tank because it's quite a big refilling system, spot, space, place. 
Very good guys, I haven't really got much more to say about it. I like it, it's that simple. It's not going to be my everyday RTA and I'm probably not going to buy it for myself because I'm not keen on the mesh systems. Mesh tanks like the Mesh Pro which is knocking about somewhere, I've lost it. I like. Um, but in regards to rebuildables I don't, I don't see the point. I don't, it's not the versatility that I want. I want to be able to build it specifically how I want rather than try and find a mesh coil that's made to how I want it. You know, it's just preference guys. If you like, if you like mesh, I prefer this much more than I prefer the Watoffo Profile Unity. There you go. Uh, but I do prefer the original Kaylin to the Kaylin M. It's that simple. Cheers guys. I hope that's been useful to you. I haven't done a wicking tutorial because it is so dead easy to wick. You literally just use a bending tool, bend it over it, screw it in both sides very carefully so you don't skew it, and then pull the mesh through. I will put a link below to Van de Vape's official wicking tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay cloudy, guys. A massive congratulations to Mama Elitet. You have won the Uggs Vape RTA Lotus. RTA, sorry. The Kaelin M now goes up for giveaway. Don't forget to read the terms and conditions below to be in for a chance of winning. Comment. At a courtesy, don't forget to share, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell. Next week I'm reviewing the Van de Vips Lit. That'll be on Instagram later. The reason I ain't got it in my hand is because it's not been delivered till this afternoon. But that's our RDA, guys. So, to watch that review, tune in next week. And to find out who won the Kaelin M, tune in next week. Thanks, guys. Stay cloudy.